I'm Ruiz Anders. I'm an assistant professor uh, working at the Department of Biomedical Engineering and Physics at the AMC, the Academic Medical Center of the University of Amsterdam. Uh, and I'm working in a clinical physicist environment where we're developing techniques to get all kinds of information out of objects. The investigation of the crime scene is basically the most important. If you miss any traces, you cannot capture them later on. Spectroscopy is, of course, a very well-known uh, chemical analysis method in which you look at the reflections of the light, of the different wavelengths of the light, uh, to say something about its chemical content. But we've integrated this in this camera. Uh, so what we're doing here is we're capturing the crime scene. We're capturing the reflectance of all colors, going from the deep blue all the way to the infrared. On each pixel in your image, you can determine the chemical contents. So if you're looking at an object, we can immediately chemically analyze it. So if you're looking at a blood stain, we can see the reflection spectra of blood. So we can immediately recognize it as blood. You can enter the crime scene, you can put the camera in the center of the room. Uh, it looks around and it basically recognizes where there are blood stains uh, or other stains, um, a gunshot residue for instance, uh, what the age of the different blood stains are. So this can be uh, of great help. There, currently there's no tool for aging of blood stains. Uh, spectroscopy is not done on the crime scene itself. According to the expert, this can be of great forensic value because the technique uh, does not exist yet.